G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel. How are we all doing on this fine, fine day? Mate, it is almost like summertime right now and it's gorgeous. So I thought I'd take a cruise through the old uh, mountain ranges, just because why not? It's lovely, lovely warm. It's 29 degrees Celsius today. And man, it's just, oh, it's beautiful. No wind, no, no heavy like dust. It's just the optimal. Nice and cool in the shade, lovely in the sun. But uh, today is a bit of a different video because I'm going for a bit of a longer cruise later and I thought I'd get the uh, build up to it and just be like, if you're looking at buying a motorbike or you're thinking about it, you haven't quite decided, this is the video that you need to watch, man. Am I going to go over pros and cons? No, we don't need none of that. Because look, if you're toying up about a motorbike, you're pretty much already weighing up. You've already put like 90% of the way there, mate. If you're thinking about it, you're basically decided. So what I'm uh, going to do over here so I just do a normal cruisy cruisy is uh just let you let you watch and see what riding a bike's all about okay obviously I'm gonna be here I'll say good day I'll talk a little bit but the purpose of this ride is to just really just show you what the joys of riding a bike are mate if anything good happens bad happens it's all gonna be here and guess what I'm not gonna cut out any of it till we get to the destination in that a cool little place up there mate one of the best part about riding the bike is when you finally get yourself on out and about and you look around some sites because getting around looking at sites is definitely it's up there obviously you can do it in a car but when you're out in nature and you're smelling the nature and all that oh mate you're, you're just going to enjoy everything now i've already made videos in the past about such things about why we ride and all that which of course you can watch as well if you scroll around to my channel you'll find them but today's video is not going to be about that okay i'm just going to go for a normal cruise through the twisties let you decide for yourself if it's all worth it. I think today where it hasn't been too much traffic, obviously it's like 5.40, so if there is any traffic, this is where it would be, but it's Friday, we're cruising, and we're just enjoying ourselves. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what, mate, it is, it is a great time to be in. Hopefully we don't get stuck behind this, this guy over here. <laughs> That'll be a bit annoying, but uh, what are you going to do about it? Just enjoying the sounds, enjoying the feeling. Happy to be here, happy to be alive, mate. Taking in everything. Sometimes it's good to just be out and about in nature. Today has been a really, really slow day for me personally, so yeah. I was really toying up between the idea of this and um, another another ride. But I decided to go for the longer one. Because sometimes you just need to get it in here. Obviously when you're riding you do get stuck behind people like this who can't go the speed limit because they're scared about driving. Which is just one of the joys of riding I suppose and driving. You get stuck behind slow people sometimes. It's just occurred to me that my helmet's unbuckled so I'm going to have to pull over anyway and fix that situation up. But alas we're stuck behind this for a little while. Get to look at all the stuff like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, what a view really really quiet now I've been riding with music the whole way up here now that I'm up here I just I'm not hearing anything because like obviously I want to do the video and I don't want the music to ruin anything so it's a different experience now I was going from uh, all this glorious music and enjoyment trying to smack the face with bugs <laughs> and now it's just nice and peaceful and I think it'll be a spot to pull over soon anyway farm fresh farm See, this is the joy. Oh, what a champion. Fortunately, you get people like that as well when you're out riding, so if you're really concerned, that happens. Oh, is that a field of goats? Oh my god, it is. That's beautiful. Let's see if we can do this helmet real quick. Yes! We're done. We're safe now. Oh, all is wonderful in the world. And you know what? Now, the fun part's going to begin. So, oh... Some of the best parts about riding, man, is finding a lovely little joy. You, you've done it a few times. Obviously, I've done this ride before in a video before, um, many, many moons ago, because obviously it's been too cold to come down here really and enjoy myself. Plus, none of the boys have been riding, so it's really dulled out my uh, want to come out far. I used to do this one a lot, but obviously taking a break from it's also good because 
Now, you can't keep doing the same right over and over again. It gets stale if you keep doing that. You've got to let it, let it cook for a bit, you know? So I did just that. I haven't done this right in months because it does get stale if you do it just a little bit too often. So I thought I'd take a break, and here we are back again. And I'm glad I did because it's just as good as I remember it. It's not boring because I've done it a million times. I don't have to worry about anyone with me right now. I don't have to worry about stressing. I'm not going to ride too hard. I'm just going to enjoy myself. Now I'm doing a bit of a naughty naughty. I haven't got my gear on today because it's, it's too hot and I just wanted to feel the breeze. So another reason why I'm not going to ride too hard. If you do make stupid decisions like your boy and decide to ride without gear, please make sure you do it safely and don't send it if you're going to do it. Unless you're a jigsaw rider, in that case, do as you please. Oh, look at that, that's gorgeous view. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, it really is, it's just beautiful. Sometimes if you're having a bad day, this is what you need, something like this. It just makes everything better, you know? Like I said, if you're toying up riding about a bike, like you can do this drive in a car, but if you want to buy a bike and ride it yourself, I tell you what, I've done both of it. I've driven it and I've, and I've ridden it. You can ride it hard and you can drive it hard, but riding it will beat it every time. The best part about riding as well is you can pull over at any point, basically, because there's always enough space to pull a car up. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> pull a bike over, whereas there's not really enough space to pull over a car. I mean, like, look here, do you reckon you can pull a car over in this comfortably? No. It's never going to feel safe. You're half off the edge and you're terrified, whereas if you pull a bike basically just on the side of the road and everyone's going to be fine with it. In fact, people are probably going to pull over and ask if you're alright, which is even another good reason about bikes. People tend to check up on you. You pull over in a car, unless you get your hazards on, no one really cares. But if you decide to stop on a bike and you just stand around, people are going to pull over and ask you if everything's good, which is always nice to see people caring for each other. Because uh, sometimes in life, you know, people are really heartless and cold. And uh, it's nice to have a bit of that compassion shown through the cracks, you know? Tell you what, it's lovely and breezy down this side of the ride. It was so hot on the way up here, now it's wonderful. This is what I wanted the whole time I was out here. Oh, yeah, the Daniel Range area is definitely a place to go if you're in Melbourne. Nice. So we're going to go all the way up to Launching Place today, but I think I'm going to stop the video just before I hit uh, the, the road for that one. I'll, just, I'll do the uh, ride up to Gembrook if you want to mimic my ride. And obviously I'll tell you where to continue from that point onwards, don't worry. Because the road we're stopping at is a straight line essentially, so you're not really going to get lost. Which is one of the best parts about it. Smuggle arms save lives, I tell you what. Bonk. <sighs> you meet some nice people out this way as well, especially if you meet other riders. Definitely the place to be. Oh, Sunny days in nature, lots of green, orange soil. It's brilliant. Brilliant, man. This soil, if you're a hardcore gamer, is probably going to remind you of um, some place in Red Dead Redemption where you hit that orange soil where you fight the, uh, the families and stuff. Similar style, similar aesthetics, a little bit more trees. <laughs> How could you not enjoy this? I've definitely scraped pegs around this bend before, but today we're being a little bit more sensible. Because the Australian police don't like you going too fast on video, so let's not do that. Tell you what though, I am enjoying my um, <coughs> little rebel again. Because I started riding it a different way, so I started doing a bit more body positioning when I'm around the corners. Now look, I know it's a cruiser, you don't have to correct me, I know. But when you start body positioning to turn, as opposed to just leaning, you can get a little bit further down, as I'm sure those who do ride hard know. But, you know, you learn these things over time, you can't just be an expert at them. And uh, I've scraped pegs still, which means I've definitely hit my limit of riding ability with my Rebel. But I can't say she's done bad, because she has done everything I've asked for, and then some. So, she will continue to be the best until I get my next bike. But, you know, it's really hard part with something, especially this one. So I bought my Rebel brand new. So when I'm going to get rid of it, it's just going to hurt if I buy it for a second hand bike. Because this, this is my bike, you know. I could buy another bike, and it might be mine legally, but it's someone else's that they bought, you know what I mean? Whereas if I buy this and I buy another one, this is mine. No one else's. No one else has touched it. Well, I mean, besides your mates. 
go CBR, CBR, CB650. Very lush. Emerald's a lovely place, it's a nice little lake down here you can go to enjoy yourself, go for a cruise. I've definitely done a ride here and there's a bunch of kids who were excited to see me fang it past them, so naturally, as a good biker, I did just that. Give them something to look forward to and they're all because you want to inspire as many people to be riding as you can. Obviously you don't want them all to be delinquents, but let's be honest, every bike ride has done a little bit of a sneaky sneaky in their time. tell you what, even riding in traffic on a bike is still way more satisfying than driving through it. Back to the twisty section. So that's just a little town. But I hope you've, uh, you've all been enjoying the uh, videos lately. Um, we're about to hit 2,000 subscribers, believe it or not. I can't. It's exciting stuff. Um, so I think we're like nine oh, subs away from it or some, something crazy like that. It's crazy. I'm keen, I'm keen. My goal was 5,000 by the end of the year, but I don't think that's gonna happen, but anything's possible. But at the same time, I'm not fussed. I'm just happy to be out here making videos for the people that enjoy watching my stuff. And I think that's uh, that's what makes me really happy, just in general, is having people comment on my stuff now. We have an audience, we have some regulars. And the community aspect is what I really love about it, because that's why I used to do streaming. Unfortunately, streaming stuff oh, it didn't really take off, but also it just became tedious with how I was doing it. So I, st I stopped at the time. Maybe in the future I'll pick it up again. But um, tell you what, it's just enjoyable having people around. That's what really makes everything a lot better. Like doing videos is fun and all, but if no one's watching them, well, what's the point of doing it? Whereas if I get like 50 people watching it, it's nice. If I get 100 people watching it, it's better. If I get 10,000 people watching it, holy hell, that's never happened. But Oh, that's a lie. I can't say that. My Rebel review did pretty well, but alas, most of my videos average around the two, three hundred mark, which is fine. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. We've got the usual comment, and it brings a joy to my face. But I tell you what, this video better be inspiring you to buy a bike, because look how nice it is. You can't do this. You can't feel this breeze in a car, I tell you that much. That sign is so green. You can open the windows in a car, oh, but it's never going to be the same as feeling the wind on your chest, you know? It's just, oh, words can't describe it till you do it. And the first time you hop on a motorbike, you'll be uh, absolutely shiting yourself because riding a bike at 100k is the first time feels so fast. <laughs> Obviously, doing this now, I've done it a million times, it's so second nature to me that it doesn't feel that special. It's just nice and relaxing now. It's like a cigar, right? It's not... Not horrendous, it's just nice, relaxing, chill, and you just enjoy it. But uh, when you first hop on a bike, I tell you what, it is terrifying going fast. Going fast in corners, you're absolutely like, ah! <laughs> and then you just, it just gets, oh, look at that, that's gorgeous. I didn't even notice that one. Ah! Oh! But uh, it just doesn't get old. And that's a fact. Yeah, that's beautiful, that is. Oh, man. I'm telling you, man, if you can afford a bike, get one. Potholes, be careful of them, because that's uh, one way to end your day quickly. But uh, if you don't hit a pothole, well, you're just going to be nice. But yeah, the first time you come around a place like this, and you're not really a strong rider, you'll be terrified because of all the things we've paranoid about. Gravel on the road, squigglies, potholes, drivers, blind corners, etc., etc. But it's, it's adrenaline rush, which it just makes another fun part about riding, which makes it more all the more addictive. But uh, I'll tell you what, it just never gets old. Never gets old. Look at this beautiful place, man. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous! I've taken a photo down here before with Hugh, but look at that, man. That's just beautiful. Just make sure you don't go off the edge. <laughs> Woohoo! See all the other riders here. We've definitely pulled over somewhere down here before. Not this one, maybe the next one. But you know, you can just do that, listen to your exhaust rev out. See the sights. This is what everyone who buys a bike, besides commuters that exclusively buy their bike for commuting, this is what people think about when they ride. Besides fanging it through traffic at fast speeds, it's going through the twisties, because this is what everyone talks about with bikes. You go to a bike meet, this is what everyone's on about. Oh, I went for a ride in the twisties. Or they always talk about how they nearly had an accident, but that's, you know, that's just the biking lifestyle. If you can't handle that, I'm sorry, but biking maybe isn't for you. A 
bit wet this corner. So let's maybe not fang it out of it. Ooh. Tell you what though, this weather today is just beautiful. This is what you this is like the ideal riding day. Hot in the sun, cool in the shade, but not cold, just cool. So you're not freezing, your nips aren't soaring through your clothes. Now I'm gonna have to censor that because I bloody swore, god damn it. Uh, but yeah, it's just beautiful mate, it's beautiful. Yet the bike is not, we don't have the bike away in Australia unfortunately because our clutch is on the other side. Where it's in America, your clutch is on the left side and you obviously you've got the, the traffic on the other side. So, unfortunately our bike waves aren't as exciting here, we've got to nod. Or go ballistic and just wave at them, which we also do. Tell you what man, I just had to let you listen to it a bit. But this is just oh it's fantastic. So I hope you're enjoying everything so far. I'm almost done with this ride before the uh more more spicy section of the ride comes up for myself personally. <laughs> but I've done that in a video before, so don't you worry. But in fact I was I think I was wearing the same t oh, same long sleeve shirt as well. But hey, I'm a man, we really wear the same outfit because that's how we do things around here. Get all the bikers coming through here because that's just what you do. There's a lovely sense of community when you're coming through places like this. So I can't see why you want... Oh, the Aprilia, what a lush machine. I want one, I want it bad. Finally hitting out of the 60 kilometers an hour range, which is the best part about it. Now, naturally, when we start riding around, we get a little bit spicy and start speeding, but... <laughs> but that's, uh, I wouldn't advocate for you to break any rules now. That would be illegal. Illegal. Ooh, another sexy little, little look right there. Uh, it reminds me of Italy almost around here. I just wish, wish I could live there. It's such a lovely country. Tell you what, the only downside about riding around lovely country places like this is getting bugs all up in your face. <laughs> so one thing I get paranoid about when I start doing videos is that a big ass bug just gets smacked in front of the, the GoPro. Because, well, unfortunately I can't do much about that. But, it might happen. Oh, this lovely squiggly section. The gum trees, the smell. The sunshine, the wind, the vis the visions, <laughs> the views, the visuals as well as gotta say, the exhaust note. It all just comes together to create this beautiful, beautiful day out that you just can't put it. There's only if you're gonna put it in word, not words, just beautiful. But you don't need to say anything else. But I tell you what, I wouldn't change it for the water. Look at that. That's just magical. Hey, living around here must be wicked. Besides the bushfire risk, it's just gorgeous. How could you not like it up here? I am trying not to speak the whole time, I hope you have realised that, because I do want you to actually just listen and take in what's, what's going on, because that's what the bike riding experience is, it's just enjoying. And that's kind of why I'm not going to do a video of the whole thing, I do want to just sit back and enjoy it myself. But, you take your boys out for a good day out, it's 
just have some pics, have a good old time. You know, it's just, it's all worth it. It's one of those things. One of those things. Like, look at that. It's gorgeous. I don't know what's going on with that place there. It's over the woods in strange, strange ways, but... Oh. Now, if you're not, uh confident riding maybe don't do what I'm doing and look around because when you're riding and you're looking around if you're not um, experienced you're probably going to start doing target fixation and veering where you're looking and uh, usually that ends up in tears because you might end up in a fence or in a tree so maybe don't do that when you're learning but if you're not learning and you, uh, you can just no, I mean you can always just pull over as well if you don't feel comfortable so take your time enjoy the sights because it's, just, it's fantastic Look at that! I've taken a photo here and you've seen it before. In fact, my latest, second last, oh, the last video before this one, thumbnail uses this exact spot because that is gorgeous. Oh boy. How can you not love such a thing? Take your girl out of here. It's beautiful. <laughs> Have a nice romantic day out with it. You can't beat some of these views. And obviously there's other views around and there's different ones, but mate, every view is unique, so enjoy them when you're there. Woo! School zone. Well, unfortunately, we are not at the school zone. But I tell you what, we are approaching the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed sticking around and watching and enjoying the sights with me. Do check out my other content, of course. But I'll show you, just quickly before the video ends, where to go, because this ride is absolutely worth your time, okay? You're going to come up just a little bit further down, there's going to be a bakery and everything. You're going to skip that bakery, and go a little bit further down, take a left, okay, I'll show you where we're going. Puffing Billy is also down here, but that's not what we're after. Alright, you're going to keep going. deal with all the cars, past the pizzeria, you're going to see the IGA and the op shops, you're still going to go further down than this, okay, it's the fun part, it begins in this little lovely road, which I'm sure all riders of this area know, and you're going to see it right here, which is the Gembrook launching place, to, when you come down here, this is the road that you're going to want to enjoy. It's going to take you all the way, you take a left at the end, it takes you right back to the way you started. Not back to Gembrook, but all the way back to like civilization, as it were. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Take it easy, keep it cheesy. Get yourself a bike, man, if you're questioning it. There's no downside. Your life will be better infinitely. But I'll tell you what, I hope you've enjoyed everything. So take it easy, keep it cheesy, ladies and gentlemen, and have a good day. Peace. Bye. Ah.